Coffee Super Cool Food Reviews. I'm back. How's it going? Hey, happy um, 4th of July. I mean, <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. So I figured I'd do a, um, a burrito <laughs> review. And it just happened to coincide that uh, the green burrito has a new burrito. And that's a dual branded uh, QSR uh, with Carl's Jr. So there's like 300 of the branded Carl's Jr. slash Green Burrito restaurants all over the country. And they have a new one, burrito called the Barbacoa. That's a beef barbacoa burrito. It's shredded beef and barbacoa um, originated. It's, just, it's basically, it's, it's the cooking process. It's a slow cooking process and originated in the Caribbean. And that's where the word barbecue comes from. And so now I'm trying the new barbacoa burrito from the green burrito at Carl's Jr. <laughs> so this is, uh, as you can see, the green burrito. And happy, oh, starting to leak. Happy um, Cinco de Mayo to everyone. And it's a good reason to, uh, Cinco de Mayo is a uh, reason for everyone to get drunk and have a good time. It uh, has something to do with, um, with uh, I believe the, the Puebla, I believe there was a uh, a war against the French and they won that. And it has nothing to do with um, the Mexicans and their, um, I forgot. Anyway, who cares? This isn't a history, this is a food review. <laughs> Look it up on Google. Anyway, so I'm just saying that um, enjoy yourself in Cinco de Mayo and be careful, don't drink and drive. And this is the new green burrito, bar beef, shredded beef barbacoa sand, uh, sandwich burrito and um, so here we go so in Mexico they slow this is a way of slow roasting they do sheep or beef you know meat and this is uh, the green burritos version so let me see let me kind of open this up and see what we got in here so it's beans and pico de gallo guacamole and as you can see what that looks like try to get a close-up shot and um, it's kind of messy it's because it's a burrito and you can't really can't see the barbacoa that much but it's in there you can see it it's shredded beef so I'm gonna give this a shot everyone this is the new barbacoa burrito with spicy shredded beef from the green burrito <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, all of a sudden it's spicy. That's what jumps out at you. And the shredded beef is really good. It's tender. But I'm getting a that pico de gallo got a kick to it because of the jalapenos in it or the serrano peppers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The combination of the guacamole cuts the heat a little bit from the pico de gallo. And they weren't kidding, this is spicy. On a scale of spiciness, on a scale like say, one to four spiciness, it's like a, a three. So it's good. It's just enough where it doesn't kill the flavor, but it's good. Mmm. The barbacoa is seasoned really good. It's the barbacoa. Yes, indeed it is. This is very scrumptious. It's not a, uh, when you go to a, say, a traditional Mexican restaurant or like they have a lot of these Chavez uh, grocery stores, I hear Mexican grocery stores to have like the actual barbacoa, which is a different texture and look to it than this does but I get it you know it's Carl's Jr. and it's a fast food joint and, and they can do they they can do what they can do I mean you can't get so traditional where you know it's not gonna um, it's gonna cost more to recreate than more traditional than it actually is just to pump it out you know what I'm saying am I rambling am I rambling <laughs> so this is really good mmm Mm-hmm. 
I remember now. It's about their Independence Day. And their Independence Day in Mexico is, I think, September 16th. It has nothing to do with their independence, Cinco de Mayo. It has something to do with their, they fought like a battle, and they won like, they beat the French. So that's what that means. But it's just a reason to get drunk and have a good time on the 5th. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Very good. So, if you like a spicy burrito, a spicy shredded beef burrito, try out this new green burrito, the barbacoa. It's, it's really good. On a scale of 1 to 10, gang, I'm giving this an Ocho. Woo, 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 woo. That's eight in Japanese. Ocho. Woo, 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 woo. Get to the green burrito slash Carl's Jr. dual branded restaurant. You'll be happy with this. Get it yourself a drink because it's spicy. And would I buy it again? Of course I would. This is really good for what it is for a fast food place like Carl's Jr. slash the green burrito, everyone. Thank you so much. I have a pizza review coming up. It's probably be on Wednesday, and I'm excited about that one. And some other stuff this week. So thank you all for tuning in. You guys are the best. Um, so what do you guys think of the fight? Fanny Pacquiao against Mayweather. If you think uh, Mayweather won fair and square, put it in the comment section below. If you think Pacquiao won, put it in the comment section below. If you like green burrito, if you like the green burrito, put it in the comment section below. Um, I just thought he should have pressured him more. Pacquiao should have pressured, pressured him more on the ropes. And I think uh, he should have been more aggressive with the guy. But all in all, I thought it was a really good fight, you know? So, hats off to Mayweather, you know? You gotta give the guy credit. He's, you know, he's a little arrogant though. He, you know, you need to be humble. And uh, so, that's the thing, you know? That's why he was getting a lot of booze at the end because he, he's not a very humble person. And uh, with all his success, you know, um, you should be a humble person. But, you know, that's his style and that's his personality. But still, remember, always be humble, everyone. Don't be condescending or arrogant. People don't like you. And it's not a good, it's not a good trait, everyone. So anyways, thank you all for tuning in. This is Joe from Joey's Super Cool Food Reviews. Tell a friend about my channel. If I made you hungry, subscribe. Tell a friend. Check out my Facebook, my tweets and twerts. Please subscribe. Thank you all. This is Joe for Joey Super Cool Food Reviews saying Cinco de Mayo, Happy Cinco de Mayo, Feliz Navidad, and may the force be with you. Peace.